biscuit. In the barbecue pit boys.com. Today we're cooking up some black sea bass at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, this is one of the best times of the year if you're a fisherman because these bottom feeders, these black sea bass, are coming to the surface. After wintering over at depths of boo, maybe as deep as 600 feet. And oh man, they're looking for a bait fish and a spawn. And I'm telling you, if you've never had black sea bass before, you definitely got to check this out. Saltwater anglers often refer to the black sea bass as the best eaten saltwater fish you can find. <laughs> and it's true. All right, Jitterbug and Dean brought in whoa, a bunch fresh caught just a few hours before and uh, so he's gonna fillet these out right and uh, these are big enough to fillet or even cook whole and uh, you know all about filleting fish right and if you haven't done it before yeah this is how it's done it's real easy to do oh man now sea bass is a white flesh fish real real mild uh, a delicate flavor it's um, it's awesome, man. Pairs well with uh, most any seasoning you got, right? <laughs> so anyway, fillet these suckers up, and there's a cooler full of them. Oh, these are the good days for fishing, but not so much for the fish themselves, right? <laughs> oh baby, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Now, uh, jitter here is just simply skinning, removing the uh, flesh from the skin. Right. Easy enough. Now, we're going to be poaching these. Of course, you could uh, fry them or bake them, whatever you want, right? But uh, we're going to poach these. It's a fairly firm flesh, so it poaches really well. And uh, we're gonna put it in some aluminum foil. And here we've got a tea and butter sauce. We'll show you how we'll make that in another video. Throw in some lemon. You could set these up the way you want, all right? That's pitmaster privilege. Oh man, they're gonna be eating good. Now we're gonna throw it on a medium heat. There's no reason to rush this. And uh, in this one here, we're going to scale, right? We'll take our old hickory, scale them off, just like that. And we'll gut it. Like I said, you can uh, prep these fish any way you want, man. Now, get the guts out of there. You don't want the guts, right? And we got some feed for the critters, the coyotes, the raccoons, the skunk, whatever passes by in the night. Right? All right, of course you wanna wash it and be careful. Those spines and gill covers are sharp. They'll do some real damage on you. Right? And you probably know about that if you're a black sea bass fish. Now again, we're going to throw it in some heavy-duty aluminum foil and yeah, maybe hit it with some lemon. Simple enough, right? And uh, we happen to have an onion here. Why not? Add some flavor. Throw some chunks of onion on there. Some SPG, you want to season it with something, a little salt, pepper, what you got. And here's our uh, tea sauce. It's a butter tea sauce. We'll pour it on. You do it the way you want. Mm, man, this is going to be good. <laughs> Wrap it up. Oh. And trust me, you're going to want to make a bunch of these. They're going to go fast. And again... We'll throw it on our grill. We're using our Santa Corona here. You can throw it on your kettle grill or what you have, right? Oh, man. And it's not going to take long to do.
And of course, nothing to do now but kick back and shoot the shit, right? You're at the pit. You leave the dumb shit behind. That's a good life. And in the miracle of time, this Black Sea Bass Feast is done. Can you smell that? It smells good. And you can see how firm the fish is. Oh, 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 oh. this is good. <clears throat> Baby. Now, let's open this up, and here's the whole fish. Skin on. Look at how it flakes off. Tender, moist. It don't get any better than this. Are you getting hungry or what? <laughs> and if you're not, you're on the wrong damn channel. So the next time you're looking for a barbecue or grilling recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Ah!